All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here, actually swerving out of my lane, talking about real information, very important information, and doing it in real time for like two real people out there just like you and just like me. So again, this isn't a music-related uh, uh, content video here. Uh, and, you know, I need to talk about this because people have accused me of being uh, a conspiracy theorist, um, you know, stay in your lane, dude. This isn't your uh, area of expertise. Well, apparently those who foisted this safe and effective product on us, uh, those doing it uh, weren't actual experts. We find this out um, over on Twitter or X or, yeah, it's called X, but anyway, uh, this guy by the name of Peter Sweden, and uh, if you look at his profile, it appears Peter is from Sweden, uh, Peter Sweden 7. So if you want to check him out, it's at Peter Sweden 7. Bombshell news, all right? Now, for those of you who've made fun of me for a couple of years, and uh, people have said, you're wrong, you're wrong, dude. Um, look, let me be careful with this. Being right does give me a level of satisfaction. I'm not going to lie. And there is a part of me that, it, it, you know, because of some of the abuse that I've I've taken for this, um, I feel vindicated. I feel justified. And I've been doing this for, what, three years talking about this. Um, we had the guy glitching out on TV <clears throat> over in the UK, like Saturday, right? And I reported on that, and you know, I don't know if people care why people are glitching out on live television. And this isn't the first time that's happened. And then we have, you know, the soccer field, right? If, if you've, uh, you can, you can go watch compilation videos that go on for like an hour with people just keeling over. And uh, why? Why is that happening? Then you've got the insurance actuary reports. All right. And uh, so let me get to this bombshell report. OK, and this comes to us courtesy of a gentleman by the name of Peter Sweden. He's at Peter Sweden seven over on X. Bombshell news. AstraZeneca just admitted in court. They admitted in court that their COVID injection can cause a severe blood clot side effect. All right, full stop. I could just stop right here. So they admitted in court that um, this is causing uh, blood clots, all right? Uh, Peter goes on to say this is absolutely huge news. They are now being sued in a class action lawsuit from victims that have suffered after being lied to by the quote-unquote experts, which he put in quotation marks, about safe and effective, he did it again, with lawyers saying that the AstraZeneca injection is defective. It is in this lawsuit that AstraZeneca admitted that their COVID injection can, in very rare cases, cause TTS. Now, we'll talk about what TTS is. But he says, there we have it. The truth is finally beginning to come out after all these years. What is TTS? Well, I'm going to try to... Um, read this without stumbling. It is short for thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome. He says those are very long and fancy words, but essentially what it means is that a person gets both blood clots and low platelet counts. And keep in mind, AstraZeneca is admitting this. All right. Uh, okay. So for all the censors, all the people that are going to do a little fact check box underneath this, because the algorithm is going to pick up what I'm saying. Um, they've admitted this in court. So I, I don't understand if the censorship on this continues, you're basically censoring information that could save someone's life. That's what you're doing at this point. If you're going to steer people away from this video, which I'm sure you're going to, you're actually, what you're doing is you're preventing people from getting the truth and possibly saving their own life. Here's uh, what the consequences are. This admission 
from the pharmaceutical company means that victims could get a massive legal payout. The first lawsuit uh, was started by Jamie Scott. He's a father of two who was left with a permanent brain injury after getting the AstraZeneca injection. Oh, safe and effective, right? Uh, this is uh, what the wife said, Kate Scott. We need an apology, fair compensation for our family and other families who have been affected. We have the truth on our side, and we are not going to give up. Again, that's uh, the wife of the victim. Her name is Kate Scott. In total, 51 cases have now been lodged in Britain, and victims and relatives are seeking damages worth 100 million pounds. But the government has promised to pay for the uh, pharmaceutical giant's legal bills. Oh, my. <laughs> it's, they're going to pay. The government is going to pay for the... They're going to pay AstraZeneca's legal bills. Are you, is this, are we living in some sort of alternative universe? So if they lose, the government will step in and pay using taxpayers' money, of course. This is dystopia. We're living in some alternate universe. This is because of an indemnity deal that AstraZeneca made with the government during COVID. Meanwhile, just days ago, AstraZeneca reported revenue of 10 billion pounds in the first quarter of 2024. Big Pharma is making big profit. In fact, this TTS is nothing new. In Italy, several doctors and medical staff were under investigation by the public prosecutor after an 18-year-old girl died after getting this wonderful, safe, and effective product. And the European Medicines Agency said in April, uh, back in 2021, that blood clots combined with low blood platelets should be listed as a very rare side effect. Very rare. It, if it, even if it's very, very, very rare, it shouldn't be on the market. So this has been known for a long time. And they said this in 2021. The question is, why weren't people more informed about this? As far as I can remember, the mainstream media. And by the way, I can relate this to all of these rock stars. So yeah, I'm going to inject a little um, rock and roll, a little RMO stuff into this. People like Gene Simmons, people like uh, Dee Snyder, people like Sebastian Bach. Are you guys ever going to admit that Noodles guy, whatever his name is from um, The Offspring, all these people yelling and screaming, hey, you better go do this. And people, you know, you have to have Garth Brooks, member. You got to have your card if you want to go see Garth Brooks play. Okay. The only person that pushed back against this was like Eric Clapton. Oh, and, and Van Morrison. Those two guys, right? Everybody else, no, full steam ahead. The narrative was always that it was safe and effective, yet they knew, they knew that they were not. This gentleman says, please share this everywhere. The truth is finally coming out. One more thing. Uh, he talks about uh, becoming a paid subscriber over on his um, X page. Again, this guy's name is Peter Sweden 7 at Peter Sweden 7 And this isn't just um, one person talking about this. I had read this yesterday. I had people sending me this story, um, but I liked the way he summarized um, what's going on. So... Um, for everybody who says, you know, stay in your lane, don't worry about this. Isn't this kind of important? See, this is what boggles my mind. And look, here's the deal. Again, I've said this before. If you took this and you're okay, well, thank God, right? Uh, praise the Lord. You're okay. Um, but this should raise questions whether you're okay or not. Um, and if you're thinking about doing this again, uh, and and by the way, I, this you're going to say, well, this is just one. This is just one brand. What about the other brands that are out there? What about the other companies? <laughs> They're using the same technology. As far as I'm aware, it's all the same technology. So again, um, you do whatever you want to do. It's your life. But um, don't we all kind of want to live 
a long and healthy life. Isn't it depressing that the life expectancy is going down? Is that coincidental with this? You could make the argument. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could be just the environmental factors. Climate change. It's all climate change's fault. Could be the food. The food is is crap. It's made with chemicals and additives and bad stuff. Could be a lot of things, but it seems to be converging together. And this is why there are so many conspiracy theorists out there, right, who go much further than this and take things maybe to an extreme because they don't trust, all right? And I'm with them when it comes to the spirit of not trusting. I don't always agree with some of the things that they come, they come out with, but bottom line is if you trust this government with your health care, <laughs> If you trust um, the alphabet soup agencies, and I'm not talking just here in the United States, obviously in the UK and in other places, um, man, I, I just, I would say, think about this. This is really important. And so, again, um, I would start to look at all the other things that they want to put into your body. I would look deeply into those things. Um, and how many years people have been just saying, yeah, yeah, we'll just, we're on the schedule. So if there's 32 of these on the schedule, we need to get all 32 by age 12 or whatever. And I think there are more that they recommend than that. Um, this is criminal. Okay. It's criminal and people need to go to jail and anyone affected by this uh, needs to get a massive payout. You need to bankrupt these companies because they're not doing healthcare. What they're doing is um, sending you possibly to an early grave uh, and contributing to that effort. And again, not to be too conspiratorial, but there are people who say that maybe they're just culling the herd. They're getting rid of people. And if that's true, then these people all uh, need to be put in jail at the very least, right? I mean, this is like attempted murder. If if and. Typically, that's, you know, life in prison at the very least, and in some places, a lot worse. So that's my um, out of my lane video, crazy video. It's bombshell news. Do with it what you want. It's it's in it. This happened in court. This isn't just somebody saying, oh, my opinion of this is it's bad. No, they're admitting in court and they're going to say it's super rare. I don't care if it's one out of every. 200,000 people. <laughs> it just shouldn't be. Again, I my car seat analogy, one car seat fails. What do they do? They recall all of the car seats that were manufactured uh, you know, with uh, the same specifications. They, they recall them all. They don't go, well, it was just one out of a million. No, it's over, done. Same thing with food. They'll pull all the food off the shelves. All of these things should be stopped immediately, and you should probably call, you know, your local politicians and say, enough, enough. Did you see this report? Harmless Dave reported this. <laughs> Harmless Dave. Go to the actual, have them go to the, the, the report on X by Peter Sweden, um, because, again, it's easy to read. It summarizes what happens. It defines difficult words, and it tells the truth. So there you have it. Um, you know what? Pray that this video stays up. Uh, pray that people see it. Pray that people wake up to it. I have somebody that just came back as a patron, and I'm not going to say her name because she asked me not to, but it appears she's injured by one of these safe and effective products. She's having all of these problems that she didn't have before, and they're mounting, and it's... It's difficult for her, all right? And this is the truth. I am, there's no, there's no reason for me to make any of this stuff up. So thanks for watching. God bless everyone. Um, try to stay healthy out there. That's all I can say. Um, as you get older, it gets more difficult. And with all this toxicity in the food and in these wonderful, safe and effective products, and I do say that sarcastically, um, very sarcastically, it's getting more difficult. It's like an obstacle course and um, you need discernment. You, you need God's help. So there you have it.